If you're like me and you love the great outdoors, fishing, hunting, boating, surfing, hiking, you're gonna love the entire Quickie Outdoor Kitchen. From the spectacular Pacific coast of California to New York's Niagara Falls. There are so many beautiful places across America to enjoy the Quickie Outdoor Kitchen. The amazing Florida Everglades, breathtaking Hubbard Glacier in Alaska, the amazing Crater Lake in Oregon. The Quickie Outdoor Kitchen is simply the best way I know to enjoy a great meal in the great outdoors. So we're here in my favorite place, the Great Outdoors, and I'm so excited to see what we can do with the quickie here. Well, today I went out this morning, of course, did a little fishing, and I caught a couple of these nice rainbow trout. So proud of you. Awesome. And we're going to cook these up fresh. Now, the great thing about the quickie pan is we have the outdoor burner also available. So here's a real cool thing, especially if you're camping, if you're on a boat, if you're going to be doing any outdoor cooking. Um, this has a really cool feature here. Now, you're just going to take your butane can, like so, and of course you can buy these just almost anywhere. You put it inside, like so. I'm just going to lower that. That locks that into place. Yeah. So that that's not going to leak. You're not going to have any uh, gas pouring out. Once yeah. that's locked in, it's ready to go. So here, now I'm going to put this on, and I'll tell you what, if you are a fisherman, whether it's trout or bass, or if you're out in the middle of the ocean fishing and catching halibut or uh, dorado, that's mahi-mahi or whatnot, uh, this is such a wonderful thing you can cook wherever you are. Now, first thing I'm gonna do though, is start off and now here's the thing, it's up to you if you wanna use oil or not. I like to use just a little bit of oil, uh, just it gives us also a nice crispiness on that fish and a little bit of flavor. If you don't want oil, if you're trying to cut that, that's fine. You can even use butter, uh, like if, the, a lot of French recipes, they use butter instead of oil, or both. So let me just put some onions in here and peppers, okay? And then we're gonna just start off and sort of get these nice and caramelized, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is always like to start this off. I'm gonna close that and that's just gonna cook that real nice and fast. Give that little thing shake up around like that and let that cook. Okay, wonderful. Okay. So what I have over here is some frozen cod. It's nicely seasoned. So if we're not as lucky as you, we can't go fishing when we wake up in the morning, <laughs> then we can just have a frozen option. So let's see how easy this is to use. There we go. It's on. Success. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> Okay, so we'll open her up. See me, because I'm doing the ultra healthy version, I'm not putting any butter or oil down because I just don't need it. This in. Mm-hmm. And that's an already just ready to go out of a packet, real simple. Yeah. Yeah. So you could take that, put it in there, and just cook that on the picnic table. If you're having like a family picnic or people around, even if you're at a park, you know, a lot of times we get yeah. together at a park and uh, for, parties, quinceaneras, yeah. things like that. It's always fun. So if we're doing a little party outside, I can just pretend that I went fishing early morning like you. That's right. I tell my guests <laughs> to come just a little bit later. I've already got the fish prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just shut it, let it start cooking. Right. And remember, when you shut that, uh, what that's going to do is that's going to actually steam the fish while it's searing the outside. Oh, wow. So that's why we can go from frozen to, to fabulous, fabulous in about... In Four minutes. <laughs> Four minutes, five minutes away. Yeah. A little longer with the fish, maybe. Yeah, if you're doing that. Okay, so now I've just started these off, and I've just sort of started a nice little sear. You can see my pan here. And these are just starting to sweat. So before they get completely cooked, I just like to always start off peppers and onions first, because um, I personally like to sweat them down. Now, from here, I'm just gonna take my fish, okay, and put this inside here. There's one right there. And because it's 12 inches, it actually fits the whole fish. Inside, that's right, so it'll fish. And I'm gonna just beautiful. move these over here to this side. Don't have to worry about the fish hanging out the sides. That's right there, right. And this is a, 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 tw a 12 inch pan, so there you go. And let me just put this guy in this way here. Wow, okay. they both fit in so easily. They both fit in there, and that's okay if that tail, that'll just lock right in there. I'm gonna close this and just let the That's quickie amazing. pan do all the work from there. That's amazing that you can just seal it in like that. And what's nice here too is, is if you have anything, we put that little piece of uh, onion back in there, is you can always give it a little bit of slide like that too. Yeah, Without having around. to open it up. Yeah, just to sort of mix it around. Okay? It's really sealing on all the flavors. And we're gonna let that cook. And while that's searing the side, it's also steaming that trout in there. So you're gonna get all the flavor. So you don't have to worry about oh. having raw fish in the middle. Yeah, and the cool thing is too, you know what I forgot? I forgot to add salt and pepper. 
So it's okay. Just open this up. It's this way you can just add things in here. Don't forget to salt and pepper that. Right. Yeah. That's really important for that fish flavor. Pack that on there right there. I already did so. all my preparing earlier, so my fish is good to go. <laughs> Here's a little bit of salt. There's a little bit of pepper on there. Let me pepper that guy up. Okay. And then we'll flip it over, and I'm going to salt and pepper the other side as well. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. You don't have to worry about actually turning it over. There you go. Okay. Just flip it and it's And done. let's let that cook. And then yours should be about what? How are you doing over here? About ready yeah, to flip? it seems it's pre seems pretty good. Should I keep it on this high setting or should I turn it down? Because there's a lot of different settings here. Yeah, you know, it depends on what you're cooking. If it takes longer to cook in the middle, turn it down to, say, a medium setting. Yeah, so I'm going to put it to the medium setting If you want to get, now. like, a really hot pan and sear a steak, then use it on the high setting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So I think I'm going to turn it over yeah, now. Yeah, flip it over. Yep. My favorite part. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And Beautiful. you can have a look, open it up, and just see how it's looking. Just to kind of eyeball it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep. nicely defrosted. All the flavors are simmering in there nicely. And that's the great thing, too, is because it's a pan and a pan, two pans, you could flip it, flip it, flip it, so you don't burn one side while it's still cold in the middle. Yeah. That way you can kind of just keep cooking it nice and evenly, especially if you're yeah. cooking in an outdoor setting on an open flame. Yeah, this right. is brilliant. And you can also remember, use this on a barbecue as well. Really? Right on top of a barbecue, yeah. right. So if you don't have your gas burner, this is fine. Stick it right on top of a barbecue, that's on a so charcoal handy. grill, on a gas oven, that's fine. Um, it's so versatile. Right, and then you can also flip it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip mine over. Because it's heavy duty, isn't it? It has the heavy duty die cast aluminum. That's right. Yeah. Our, in America, we say aluminum. <laughs> aluminum to me. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> and then here, let me flip this over and kind of see. Now you can see already, this is just starting to brown a little bit. It's looking I've got and my smelling. peppers, my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and just move these peppers around there. You can stuff them if you want. Start stuffing those inside. That's looking and that smelling fish so fish like good. so. See there, that's always a really cool thing. So again, you're allowed, to, this allows you to open it up, go back, make little adjustments. This, I'm gonna salt and pepper this side over here. Okay, salt that, maybe get a little pat on there. Okay. And because it is sealed with this, I feel like the flavor of the vegetables that you're putting with it, it's gonna make it even stronger because you're not letting all those flavors out. That's right, correct, right. And it is also, instead of all the steam just going up into the, the atmosphere, it's locking inside. So it's gonna cook that fish inside while it sears the outside. Now let me just lock this and we're gonna just keep letting that cook. Again, every once in a while if you want, just give that a little shake and keep that stirred yeah. fresh, okay? And now remember, if you were out on oh, your boat, this looks so good. look at that, that is looking great. It smells amazing. Right, if you have a boat or you're camping or maybe an RV, and this is such a great cooking system here for outdoors. I mean, whether you're up hiking somewhere, maybe you've got some steaks of venison or elk, this way you can cook it right wherever you are. Fresh. Yeah, for fresh, you don't need electricity. All you need is a little space and just the will to cook <laughs> and a good appetite. All you need is just a little space for a quickie. Don't forget this, if you're cooking outdoors, you can see we've got some flies around here. <laughs> it keeps the bugs out of your food. That's very handy in Australia because we have a lot of flies there in the outback. So this would be perfect. Yeah, it's, it's we're always doing the fly dance in Australia, always. Right, right, right. And also when you go to plate this too, there is also the lid that you can put on top and that'll oh, yeah. keep the flies out and also keep the heat locked in. We need that. Right. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Let me just kind of open this up and that's coming along so nice oh, there. I can't wait to try that. Let that cook a little bit. Oh, that's right, because you are a pescatarian. I am, correct? so I, I do love my fish. So you eat fish, Yeah. Uh, just not land. land no. Land, right? Okay, so let me just go ahead and flip this guy over here. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook on that side. And again, keep flipping, flipping until it's ready to go. How's yours looking? It's looking good. Look at all those Ooh. juices coming out too. Ooh, that's looking fantastic. It does. A little bit no, longer there, it. and that's going to be ready to go. Awesome. Yeah, and I never know how to cook fish either. I feel like fish is something at home that I really struggle with cooking. Uh -huh. Because I never know if it's cooked enough, if it's even, if I need it in longer or less amount of time. Well, what's nice, though, is if you want to check your fish, there's a really easy way. Is you can kind of come here and just sort of press on that. And if that starts to see how that just starts to fall apart there. Oh, yeah, it's and if, juicy. If that, then that's about ready to go. Okay. Right. So this is almost ready to go here. I'm just going to move these around here. Okay. And these are just looking fantastic. There you go. And again, don't worry. Uh, 
If you need more time, you can open this up, move things around. I'm gonna grab these little onions that fell out there. Yeah, it's nice that it has this little catcher here so you're not gonna lose anything on the ground. That's right. So, that's right. so if you're not a chef like me and you don't really know what to do with your quickie, here's an amazing cookbook. It has all the recipes that we've been cooking with. I personally love the lemon salmon. So you can Ooh. check this out. We have, what, 50 recipes in here? Yeah, in the cooking cookbook, you're gonna get 50 recipes. It'll show you different flavors from, gosh, homemade pizzas to, yeah, cooked fish to desserts. To it makes it so handy because I'm not like you. I don't know how to just whip up a meal. So if I have a little cookbook with my quickie, then it'll make life so much easier. Okay, okay. Too. I think this is about done here. So let me just turn mine off. I don't know if you want to turn yours off too. And remember, when you turn it off, pull that lever up right there. And that way that shuts off the canister. Okay. So there's no more gas. There's nothing leaking. It's totally right. uh, done, done cooking. And here we go. So I'm ready for the big reveal? Mine first. Here, how about okay. this? Look at that. Oh, that looks divine. From the stream right to the quickie pan. I mean, that wow. is so good. Peppers and onions and all that flavor. A little bit of oil just gave me that nice sort of um, crispy skin on there that I love. Yeah. Just so good. Okay, let me close this. I'm gonna to keep that, that nice and warm. Okay. And this is straight from the freezer to the pan. <laughs> Fresh. Wow. <laughs> this looks really good too, though. Oh my gosh. That I'm, looks I'm like quite this impressed. Is mine. I don't know which one I'd rather eat. I have to give it to you. All right, either That's way. That's pretty impressive. Well, bon appetit here. You want to just plate that up and let's get to eating. Yes. All right. My favorite part. So let's compare them. Right. <laughs> Whose who's looks better? I'll tell you what. I mean, there's nothing wrong with what, that plate there, but there's something <laughs> so satisfying about catching a fish yourself and cooking it that same day. You know where it came from. It is your catch and it always tastes better. Okay. I tell you, you prepare yourself. I have to give it to him. Yeah, he did a good job. But in case you don't have time to go catch a fish in the morning to have for lunch, there's also the frozen version. So this might not be fresh out of the stream. It is fresh out of a freezer though. So let's give it a shot. Oh my goodness. Is, is that good? Because of the way the quickie pan traps in all that moisture and all that heat, it is just perfect for cooking fish. So if you're afraid of cooking fish, try the quickie okay. pan and you won't go wrong. You'll love it. I'm not afraid of fish anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we provide the finest kitchen products in the world. If you are not fully satisfied for any reason, just return your quickie pan within 60 days for a full refund. So click the shop now button and get your very own quickie copper pan. I'm gonna do quesadillas. I love quesadillas. You're gonna do? I'm gonna do some Hot Pockets and they're frozen, so we'll see how quickly we can defrost them and cook them. Why don't you start with yours? Okay, let's do it. Okay. So I've already got the pan nice and hot. Open her up. Uh-huh. We don't need to add anything, no butter, no oil. It's just au naturel. Yep. And you don't need, most importantly, a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was a trick question. No, a microwave. So simple. Yeah. Obviously, we do not need a microwave when we're out camping. That's right, because that's going to steam. Remember, you're going to encapsulate all that heat in there. It's going to cook it about the same time as a microwave, yeah. but better. And that's what I love. You can get your food cooked as quick as a microwave, but you're not nuking it and losing all your nutritional value. Correct. Okay. Now, quesadillas. Everybody loves quesadillas. If you've never made them at home, it is so easy. All you really need are tortillas and cheese. You can add everything, whatever else you want inside of it. So what I'm gonna do, normally when you do quesadilla, they fold it, that, because you have to flip it. Because you have this uh, pan that you can just flip the whole thing, all I'm gonna do is just add some cheese inside of here. I'm gonna be real generous with that cheese. Because in the past, when I've been cooking quesadillas at home, you have to do the half quesadilla, and then you have to flip it and hope that both sides are evenly cooked, and then maybe you've forgotten about one side, and it's up burning. It's a bit of a disaster. Correct, correct. And then here. Now, I'm just gonna add some tomatoes in here, just so that add a little bit of color and just a little bit of that nice tomato taste in there. Add some nutrition to your quesadilla. <laughs> That's it. And then I'm going to just take the top and put it on and close that. And not only is it going to get the bottom nice and crispy, it's going to melt the cheese evenly. Beautiful. Isn't that great? So let's check on mine. Go flip ahead. Flip it over. Want to just flip those over. Wow. And it's already heating this out really nicely and getting it crispy. So I'm going to keep it on this side. Mm-hmm. And here's the best part is that this is everything that you need for cooking, for camping, for outdoors, for hiking. Everything fits inside of this. And if you feel it, it's That's pretty light. All of that, 10 pounds. And I can handle that. 
Isn't that great? Yeah. 10 pounds. Now, at home, what I like to do is keep this next to where you store your tent, and your entire camping is ready to go. Yeah. All your gear. Has a little headphone jack to come out here, listen to your music. That's right. And I mean, feel that watch. Put this on, and let's see okay. here. How do you think? Not bad at all, right? I don't think this would actually break my back. No, that's it right. It won't break the bank or your back. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate foodies backpack. That's right. And now here, let's see how your Hot Pockets are doing. So we want to check out my Hot Pockets? Let's check out your Hot Pockets. Ooh, golden, crispy, nice, nice and hot. Ooh. All right, and those are looking fantastic. I think I'm going to be finished first. OK, well, <laughs> that's good. There we go. OK, so flip it over here. And that okay. should be the last one. And oh, take wow. a look at that. Flawless. Crispy, wonderful. I'm actually going to just go ahead and cut right inside the pan right here. Look at that nice, Yum. crispy tortilla. And inside, we're going to have that mm, yummy, delicious melted cheese. I mean, look at this. Look at that gooey cheese. Oh my gosh. I'm just cooking cut right there on the line. How good is that? Oh my gosh. And just look at this. Ooey, gooey, gooey melty, perfect cheese right there. Oh my gosh, nice that's it. Nice and crispy on the edge too. I personally love that crispy cheese. Oh, it's so good here. And you know, let me just put this up here. And I like, I wanted to cut it there so just so you can see that you're not going to ruin this pan here if you cut into it. I can't believe we can do that. <laughs> it's so cool, right? And let me turn off my heat right here. And there is my quesadilla. Beautiful. So I'm going to take mine off too because these are ready. Look at this. Lift it up and it's turned off. Uh-huh. And here, I'll pull this up here so you can see just what I did on mine. How about that? I think they both look pretty good to me. All right, and here, let me just cut it again. I'm just gonna cut a little piece right here. So you can see, again, this was done on a picnic table. And just so you can see what we're talking about, that is just wonderful, wow. delicious melted cheese in there. We've got some nice cooked tomatoes. And then I just give it a little dip in here. Oh, I never wow. would have imagined having good Mexican food while we're out camping. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Here, how about this? You want, want the first bite? Yes. Totally veggie. Go ahead. How generous of you. How good is that? Spot on. Is that nice? Here, I'll Beautiful. leave that piece for you. I'm going to cut myself a piece and then let me try this guy right here. Wow. This looks super good. Here. I have to have some more. Go ahead. Here, take that piece for you. Good. Okay. And then I'll just dip this guy in my salsa here. Isn't that awesome? A quesadilla done right on the picnic table. Mm, here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Divine. It is so easy to do. It is so fast, so simple, and it literally costs pennies <laughs> to cook that, and it is absolutely delicious. He wants to come camping with us. I do. That's right. Mmm. Here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. We are so sure you'll be happy with your purchase that we offer a 60-day money-back guarantee to ensure your satisfaction. If for any reason you wish to return your Quickie Copper Pan, we will promptly issue you a refund. So click the Shop Now button and get your very own complete Quickie Copper Pan indoor and outdoor kitchen. So let's continue the Mexican theme. And what have we got going on now? Okay. My favorite thing are fajitas. Fajitas are pretty good. If you've never made fajitas at home, they are so good. And if you were having a picnic or a family get together or whatnot, this is the perfect fajita maker. It's definitely a way to spice up a regular barbecue, isn't it? So we're definitely adding in some different flavors. And That's absolutely. And you don't have to drag your big barbecue out or whatnot. You can cook this anywhere, whether it's at a park, whether it's on a beach on a picnic bench, on a table, for, for tailgate parties. And actually, why don't you get started with yours first? That's You're cooking from Frozen. Yeah. Yes, I'm cooking from Frozen, so I've got some bean and cheese burritos over here. I've already got the grill on. And we're just gonna add these in here. And, and you know, I noticed you didn't add any oil. No, I did not, because I'm the healthy one, remember? Yes, you are. <laughs> Gotta Absolutely. keep this figure slim. That's right, right. And then you lock that into place, and not only is that going to cook it nice and crispy on the outside, it's going to cook the inside from frozen to fabulous. Because it gets up to 400 degrees because of that 8,000 BTU cooker, so it'll cook it up really quickly. Right, okay. Now, what I like to do when I'm doing fajitas, I like to start with my onions and peppers first. So I'm just going to put these inside of here, 
and let those get sizzling up nice and hot. Now, also, I'm not using oil. Of course, at home, if you want to use oil, that's fine. If you want to do butter for flavor, totally fine. But we're going to do this. Remember, peppers and onions have their own moisture. But if you cook in a regular open pan, what happens to the moisture? Gets out. It evaporates. So when you lock the pl into place, now nothing is going to evaporate. You're going to be steaming and searing at the same steaming time. Steaming and searing and at just, the same time. And it also lets you kind of do this, shake that around. So I'm a farm girl from Australia, and I never imagined that camping, I could have delicious Mexican food, pizzas, all these different ethnic foods while you're out there in the woods. Right. And I mean, I again, I love fajitas, but you can use this for like stir fries. Whatever you want to chop and cook inside of here, it's wonderful. It's going to be so much more flavorful because you're locking in all of that moisture and flavor inside of there. And it's going to get nice and crispy and seared on the outside and cooked tender and juicy in the middle. It is such a wonderful cooking system. You are going to love it. And so people do this when they're hiking as well, don't they? If they're going on long hikes, maybe over a period of days, they can bring this and you don't have to worry about just bringing like a couple of bar snacks. You can actually have a real cooked meal while Abs you're out hiking. Absolutely. I mean, the backpack that it comes with, the whole, all of this together is 10 pounds. That's all you're putting on your pack. So you can put in your flavors, your sauces, your onions, peppers, potatoes, make wow. hash browns, wherever you want to cook. This is just a wonderful cooking hiking system. I wish I had this when I was backpacking through Southeast Asia last year. I would, oh. <laughs> would have been eating real well. <laughs> oh yeah. You backpacked through Southeast Asia? I did indeed. And I think my backpack would have been heavier than the quickie backpack as well. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So now here we go. These are starting to cook down nice in here. Okay. Onions and peppers. So, okay, let me take these onions and peppers in here. I'm just going to add this meat inside of there. Okay, and just kind of get that all there. Let's just kind of even it all out. And that's gonna start searing and cooking and sweating all at the same time. Sweating the onions, that is, sweating. darling. That's right. Okay, and once that's all nice and even there, it just takes about four minutes from here and that's going to be ready to eat. Now I'm just going to close the lid. Remember it has that locking hinge on it. You, that allows you to shake it around and nothing falls out as well. So nothing will stick. We'll flip it over here and it'll cook the other side. Beautiful. So I don't know if you've ever had to turn one piece of meat at a time. That's usually what I have to do. This way you can turn it all at the same time. Yeah. It is so handy. You're going to love it. Are you ready to see some awesome fajitas? <laughs> I am so ready. Give it to okay, me. Okay, Take a look at that. Perfect, sizzling, delicious, hot fajitas. That is sizzling. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put the lid on here, right? And just pull this top off here. I'm gonna set that down right here. Now with this side of the pan, now you are doing your tortillas. This, this is, is how you warm your tortillas, all in one pan. That's why those two pan systems together is so awesome and handy. This You're going to love it. Because normally at home, if I'm doing tortillas, I have to take out whatever I've got in the pan, put it on a cold plate, yep. and then do the tortillas. And so then your, your other food is getting cold. Correct. And right here, you're just going to do this side. Of course, if you haven't done tortillas at home, I don't know if you've ever tried, you just want to heat these up until they're like nice and soft and warm. And that makes them nice yeah. and pliable and yummy. All right. All right. Let's see how your burritos came Ooh. out. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at these babies. Those Crispy, look absolutely perfect. Golden, nice and hot. Here, use my tongs. Thank you, sir. There you go. I'll hold that up. Okay. And oh, Yum. wow. Those look fantastic. Let me just flip my tortillas over here. I am a natural. Oh, my gosh. Now, here, I'm going to turn your, your flame off there. You don't want any bush. And remember, turn the flame off and turn the gas off also when yeah. you're doing that. And now here you can see that my tortillas are just about done. I kind of did them nice and brown on one side just the way I like them. So I'm gonna turn my gas off here. I'm gonna turn the flame and the gas off. And then here like this. Oh, these are nice and soft. Ooh, they're nice and warm, nice and hot like that. Now here, I'll tell you what. Here is, I'm just gonna switch pans so you can see. And of course that lid has not just kept the flies out of it, if you're camping, if you're in it Australia. also keeps it nice and hot in there. And if you just hand me those tongs, I'm going to do some, look at that, delicious fajitas. Oh my gosh. And Who knew I, you could have something like this while you're camping? While you're camping, you could do some guacamole. I mean, just love my guac. like there, maybe a little bit of sour cream or in Mexico, crema. Crema. Uh-huh. And I'll tell you, you could add some hot sauce, tapatio. We've got a little bit of roasted green 
chili salsa here we're gonna put on there oh my gosh <laughs> and now listen this one's for me because i know you don't do the meat but here i'm going to take a bite of this and how about you? Let's see how yours, we'll eat together. Okay, let's eat together. Let's cut mine off. Oh, I feel like that is just oh. delicious. It's gooey, it's cheesy, it's soft, nice and hot. Oh. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Cheers, Alan. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. 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 Mm. In case you couldn't tell, I am enjoying this. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Who's enjoying it more? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That is so good, so easy. And remember, keep the lid on if you want to keep it hot, just like so. You're gonna wow. love it. Two thumbs up to the quickie pan. I didn't know a frozen burrito could taste so good. Right? Oh my gosh, this is great. Mm. Right. Because when are you gonna ever get a frozen burrito that's actually crispy on both sides and this gooey in the middle? Only with a quickie. I'll tell you what, you're gonna love it. Camping has never tasted so good. Oven fresh flavor anywhere. Mm, you're gonna love it. Let's get back to eating. Yes, my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Get the complete quickie copper pan indoor and outdoor kitchen now. If for any reason you wish to return your quickie copper pan, we will promptly issue you a refund. Okay, I think the most important meal when you're camping is breakfast. Of course, right? you're gonna have energy for the day, hiking. Energy for the day, it's just a super fun thing. Everybody gets together for breakfast. So here's why I just love the quickie pan for camping. Okay, because it's two pans in one. So remember, I'm gonna start by lowering that. That turns the gas on. That turns the flame on. And now that that's cooking, we're gonna start off and I'm just gonna do some hash browns first. And then I'm gonna use both pans separately. I'll show you how oh, to use that. Great. Yeah. Now again, you could uh, use oil if you like or if you don't want. It's, it's up to you. Now I always like oil just for a little flavor. It also gives it nice and crispy here like so. Okay. Now here's the cool thing about camping. You could take potatoes with you. These are already pre pre um, chopped potatoes here for hash browns. We're just adding these hash browns in there. Okay. I never would have thought of taking potatoes like this camping. Yeah. This well, is definitely next level. Again, if you want to just go to the store and buy these frozen, that's fine, hash browns. Or you could start from scratch and just use a box grater and grate your own potatoes. Oh my god, that's so fancy. And potatoes keep, you can just take potatoes, they'll keep for days, weeks, you know. Uh, uh, keep them in a dark, cool place. So this goes hand in hand with glamping. I went glamping <laughs> recently, and when you're glamping, you can't have a regular old camping breakfast. You need something gourmet like this. Something awesome, that's right. Okay, now here's the thing why this is such an awesome pan for hash browns, is when you're doing hash browns, you want to flip it over. And if you don't flip yeah. it over, one side's crispy, the other side's soggy. We don't want that. No, and this would be really difficult to sort of do one of those mid-air flips. <laughs> I'm a pretty good chef, but uh, half the time, half the potatoes go on the ground. So That I did mean, happen to you before, didn't it? Yes, let's, let's not bring that up. <laughs> it's happened to all of us. It's okay. Okay, a little salt, a little pepper in here to season that. And I mean, that is going to be so delicious. So what I love about this is this is getting nice and crispy on the one side. You can see it kind of starting to like stick together right there on the bottom. Yeah. That just means that it's getting nice and crispy. So when we do this, all I'm gonna do is close this remember you have the little locking mechanism right there flip this over and cook the other side how easy so is that? easy i mean if all you ever use this for is hash browns you'll use it every <laughs> time you're cooking breakfast you'll definitely get your money's worth out of it right okay so i flipped it yeah and i've let it cook for a few more minutes on the one side it should be nice and golden brown let's just have a look here open that up oh and wow, wow. <laughs> That is a masterpiece. Ooh, I'll tell you what, that is so good. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do, and this is why this is so cool. I'm gonna take this lid off, uh, this side off. I'm just gonna move this over here to your burner, and we're gonna yep. put the lid on top. That's gonna keep it warm. That's gonna keep the flies off of it until our bacon and eggs are ready. Okay, So perfect. two pans used as one, but I'm gonna use the second pan separately. Okay, starting off here, let me just put some bacon on. We won't do a lot because I'm eating all the bacon here, so I'll just do yes, four well. strips. Of course, you could do enough for the family in here. This is a 12-inch pan, like so. All right, because as bacon cooks, you know, it shrinks. Okay. okay. And we're just going to let this bacon cook. And now I'm just using this as a regular pan. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it's completely non-stick here, so you can use oil if you like. You could use butter. Of course, with bacon, it's going to create its own 
bacon yeah. grease, and I'm going to use that grease to cook the eggs in, which is how I like it. So, I used to like it too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just let this cook down. Okay, now while this bacon is cooking, this should only take just a few minutes, um, let me just go get something here. Ooh, his favorite new toy. This is your entire outdoor cooking system right here. Just if in you, this backpack. Just in this backpack here. So what I love is everything sits inside here. You're gonna get your gas oven, your quickie pans, the backpack, you've got room for spices, you've got room for utensils in here. The whole thing just fits on, you can wear it while you're hiking. And what's nice is when you're done camping, you put that in the garage if you want, wow. it's ready the next time. You don't have to spend half the day packing for kitchen utilities and supplies. This is it right here, right? If you're hiking, camping, on a boat, in an RV, wherever you go, this is your portable kitchen. And I love, I love that this exists because I love to hike, I love to camp, and I never knew that we could have all of this when we're in the outdoors. That's right, and it's pretty lightweight. You can feel that. I mean... I could carry this around. Right. It's not like... Half the kitchen, you know, you have to bring pots, pans, this, everything you need for camping. Yeah, bringing everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, let me run this back over here. Put this back by our tent. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So it seems like you can cook anything in the quickie. It seems like it has a wide range of versatility. Uh, it really does. I mean, it's two pans in one. So the reason it cooks things faster, the reason you can go from frozen to fabulous, in four, four minutes. Four minutes <laughs> is because uh, it encapsulates all that heat in there. Yeah. You're not losing the heat, you're not losing the moisture. So that's why it's gonna cook the middle while it crisps the outside. Yeah. So, and you can also bake in it because of that. That's what I'm so amazed yeah. by. You can use the same pan to bake, Yep. to fry, uh -huh. to boil, to broil. Uh -huh. You can do everything. So we can have a full gamut of your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert all in one pan. All in one pan, that's right. And don't worry, wipe it off. If you cook fish at night and you cook breakfast in the morning, you're not gonna have fishy bacon. <laughs> uh, it doesn't hold or retain any of those flavors or odors. And you can use metal utensils. In <laughs> I know, I know, you would never do that normally. Yeah, I'm just, I'm terrified of doing that because any pan that I've ever had, it would scratch and I'd get in so much trouble. <laughs> So you can see here, that non-stick ceramic coating wow. there is super tough. You can use metal utensils, you can use tongs in here, and you're not gonna scrape it up, don't worry. It's made for that. Wow. And my mom, who's a chef, would absolutely love this because she uses a lot of non-stick and is always yelling at me if I try and get a fork near it or a knife or a whisk, you have to use very specific plastic utensils. I have never seen a pan that is as non-stick as the quickie pan either. Absolutely nothing is sticking. You don't even have to wash it. You can just wipe it down. That's right. And this isn't like the non-stick pans that you've seen in the past. Uh, you know, new technology, like anything else. It gets better and better and better. These aren't the Teflon pans that our parents had, where, you know, they oh, scratch yeah. off, it goes in your food, and it's... So uh, bad for you, all those chemicals. Right, right. So this is ceramic liner. That's what it is. It's coating. It's metal utensil safe, so you can go ahead and cut if you want to do fajitas. Cook your, your uh, flank steak in here, and you can just slice it, and no problem. Yeah, no and problem. I feel so much more assured knowing that I'm not going to be eating half of the pan when I'm eating my food. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Again, technology gets better and better, and this is the best technology of nonstick that I've ever seen. This is exciting. Yeah. Okay. So this looks about done. Okay, here we go. So we've got the bacon done. Those bacons are for me. So I'm just going to take these, put them right here, and while those rest, this is now, here's a great thing. You can use oil, you can not use oil. I personally like a little bit of bacon grease for flavor. <laughs> so I'm gonna just leave that in there and use that for the eggs. And here, I've just got a few eggs in here. Now you can make enough eggs for an entire army in this thing. The capacity is awesome. Here's what's awesome about doing eggs, is you put it in here, remember it's non-stick. So check this out. What I like to do is kind of just float that all the way around. As it cooks, now you can scramble inside of here. So you can see as this is cooking, I'm you, just gonna pull that back like so. And you can never do that normally with regular pans. You can never put the fork in and keep whisking, otherwise you're gonna wreck your pan. That's right, so if you wanna do a scrambled egg, just keep stirring as it cooks like so. Which is great because then you're not using a whole extra bowl to make a scramble. You could actually scramble your eggs in that pan, couldn't you? Inside of here, that's right. And it's so much easier to use, right? You'll love this for breakfast. This is my favorite egg pan out there. I'll tell you what, it just cooks so wonderfully. And you're not going to lose half the eggs on the edges either. That's what I hate about regular pans. Mm -hmm. It gets all stuck to the edges and then you're wasting all of this good product. That's right. 
So the campus stove gets to 8,000 BTUs, doesn't it? That's right, which equates to, this will get up to 400 degrees. Wow. Which is what you want if you're gonna like sear a steak. If you got a nice thick steak, sear it on one side, close it, and that's gonna cook it like it's in an oven while searing yeah, it. it's very powerful. Flip it over and do the other side. All right, and I'll tell you what, now these eggs are almost there. It takes just, just a couple of minutes tops right here. Okay, let me finish this off there. I always like my eggs just a little bit underdone. Mm -hmm. And then here we go. Let me just pull this all together. And here we have, and take a look at this, sure. Now, one pan, an entire breakfast. You see here, we've got your hash browns, you've got your eggs, you've got your bacon, done all in the quickie pan. Wow. How awesome is that? And there it is. And so we're ready to eat. Let me just actually turn this off here. I just love that we can use one pan for all of this because when I go camping, I usually have to bring pots and pans and then you're fighting over who has to clean it and they all get dirty and disgusting and then you're lugging around so many pots and pans. We can just do it in one now. There it is right there and that's it. One pan makes breakfast like that perfectly. So this is amazing. You can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner while you're camping. Gourmet meals. No one has to fight over doing dishes. You don't have to lug pots and pans, have like an extra Sherpa to just bring your cooking utensils. <laughs> That's right. The Quickie Pan outdoor cooking system is everything you need for your camping, for your hiking, on your boat. Wherever you go, dinner is ready to be cooked. And you don't have to sacrifice the food that you're eating. You don't have to eat unhealthy food while you're traveling anymore and like, you know, just little packaged snacks. You can actually have real meals while you're hiking. Talking about real meals, I'm just gonna start eating. <laughs> I'm hungry. Mm. How is it? Mm. Fresh eggs. It's awesome. And it's crispy delicious. hash browns. Mm. Who knew you could have crispy hash browns when you're camping? Mm -hmm. It is the easiest way to cook hash browns. Flip them over, crisp both sides, you'll love it. Look at this. Mm. It's crunchy. Bacon for me. That's all you. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Bacon is so good. You don't know what you're missing out <laughs> mm, on. Crunchy hash browns, and I'm gonna keep this all to myself now. Oh my gosh. That's right. Eat a bunch of bacon, <laughs> and you can get a figure like this. <laughs> if you're not completely satisfied with the purchase, you may return it with no questions asked, and we will issue a full refund. Don't miss this chance to get the Quickie Copper Pan at a very special introductory price. So what do we have cooking now? All right, everybody loves waffles. And yes, whether you're cooking at home or whether you're cooking at the campsite, waffles are always a hit. Yes, they are. Uh, especially with the kids. I don't know. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Now, inside of here, I've got that silicone waffle mold. And I've already got the heat on, so this is getting heated up. Uh, this is made, of course, silicone bakeware has been used for a long, long time. It's really nice, it's naturally nonstick. You don't have to butter this or use any Crisco or anything inside there. So. Uh, but what I'm gonna do here is do a few different types. Now, I like to start with the berries down. I'm gonna do some blueberries first. And this is so ideal for picky kids and families who want all different flavors because you can put a different flavor in each mold, can't that, you? That's right, and if you wanna you know, do some chocolate chips maybe for the kids for or for the big kids <laughs> like you. Or, uh, and how about just some chopped nuts, some pecan nuts. Perfect. Yeah. Pecan, 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 where you're from. Okay. Pecan. So I'm gonna start with those now. Tomato, okay. tomato. Uh-huh. And then here, I'm just gonna use some of our batter here. Okay, and I mean, you don't wanna fill this all the way to the top. Remember, this is gonna rise, so just give it about half full. And I really like this way of doing it with all the different flavors as well, because I get a bit of FOMO. I have fear of missing out. And so if I see somebody trying something that I really want, uh -huh. this is just perfect, because I get a little bit of each flavor now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's just go around. And you can always, remember, you can always add more. It's harder to pull away, so just do it like so. Let that fill in. Okay. I'm gonna do this side here for the pe pecans. Pecans. Pecan. 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 Pecan nuts. There we go. Okay. And then here. Okay. Let me just fill that one up. Maybe a little bit more in this guy here. Okay just so that the mold is sort of all the way full here, okay? And just kind of over here. Okay, that one looks pretty good and full there. Okay, that looks divine. All right, <clears throat> now all we're gonna do, and I've got that heat up, I'm just gonna close this and let the quickie pan do all the work. Perfect, and so in the meantime, uh -huh. we've got my heat on, so we're going to just do the little frozen version to just show you how easy it is to make frozen waffles as well. So we've got some little 
Some that I've already prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Put them right in. Those are mostly frozen, right? I mean, they look like they've defrosted a little bit being out here, but they're still yeah. sort of frozen on the side, yeah. And we're doing the healthy version. No oil, <coughs> no butter, just straight into the pan. Close that, and that's going to be ready in a few minutes. Right. Yeah. I mean, who really heard of cooking waffles out camping? Exactly. You can't exactly take a waffle maker out into the forest with you or no, who knows is, where you're hiking, in the jungle maybe. That is not a typical move. But now because of glamping, we want to make sure that we're having top of the line breakfasts while we're out. We need to impress our friends. That's right. And so here you can do waffles. I mean, out on the range, we're using a gas stove to cook waffles. And we need to be able to take Instagram worthy breakfast photos. So this is kind of perfect. If you're a big Instagrammer like me, you need a quickie pan to take amazing pictures of your food. <laughs> <laughs> you take pictures of all your food. <clears throat> I take pictures of everything, just full stop. That's right. But now I can take pictures of my food while I'm camping. Here you go. There you go. All right, and again, waffles in the pan. And it's really the only pan I've seen that you can bake on the stove top. Normally you always Never need an oven. You need an oven, it has to go in, that's just the nature of baking. This way, because it's encapsulated, because all that heat stays inside here, the heat's not just coming off the top. The moisture isn't being cooked out of it. It's literally baking inside of a pan. Isn't that Unheard cool? of, absolutely unheard right. of. And you're about ready to flip it over. Yep, I can smell that's ready, so I'm gonna yep. flip her over. There you go. And again, you're crisping on one side, you're cooking it evenly through the middle, that's frozen, to fabulous in, in four, four minutes. minutes. Frozen to fabulous in four minutes. <laughs> Frozen to fabulous in four minutes. Try saying that fast four times. Frozen to fabulous in four, four minutes. minutes. All right, take a look. Uh, these are about ready to flip. See how they're yeah. right there? You can already see those <laughs> blueberries bubbling through. That is gonna it's be so, tasty. so good. Okay, I'm gonna just lock the handle and then do a quick flip. Flip it And let those finish good. up there. And then let's see, you wanna flip it over and see Ooh. how yours came out? All right, and look wow, at that. Wow, perfection. Nice. Gorgeous. I'm frozen waffles, look at that. It's just got a nice little brownness on the outside. Perfect. Nice and crispy. Perfection. Here, you want to plate those? You're nice about ready? Nice and crispy. Yes. All right, and then while you're plating those, here. So if you're looking for convenience, you can start with some really easy frozen waffles. But if you want the creme de la creme, let's check out Jeremy's waffles. With a little bit more time, you can make your own while you're camping as well. Right, here it is. And again, I use that silicone mold right here. Let me just open this up and see how those came out. Oh, Holy How moly. awesome is that right there? I can't believe that you made these. Yep, made those from scratch. And you know, here, let me just kind of Look at those this. blueberries. Blueberries, just nice. Look at that. This is definitely Insta-worthy right here. Blueberry waffles here. There's my pecan waffle. There's my chocolate chip waffles. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And then I'm just gonna, here, let's just smother it all. Wow. In some of our, mm, Okay, even, syrup. even the most stubborn people who don't wanna go camping, after you show them this, they will be all about it. That's right. And so whether you're cooking from scratch or you're cooking from frozen, you're gonna use your quickie pan whenever you need to cook something, whether you're camping or at home or in a park, just the quickie pan outdoor cooking system is perfect. I'm, I'm gonna go in for a blueberry. Look it's, at that. This looks like a piece of art. Look at the colors I, in that. It is so good. I mean, look at that. Just like the blueberry like melts like it's a piece of chocolate now. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Are you mm. having a food gasm? Mm, yeah, in mm. case you can't hear, he's having a food gasm right now. Mm. <laughs> mm, all thanks to the quickie pen. <laughs> I love a good quickie food gasm. <laughs> <laughs> We are so sure you'll be happy with your purchase that we offer a 60-day money-back guarantee to ensure your satisfaction. Get the complete Quickie Copper Pan indoor and outdoor kitchen now. So it's time to mix it up a little bit. Jeremy's gonna make an American classic grilled cheese with a little twist, and right. I'm gonna do a Chinese classic of orange chicken. I'm gonna get started on my orange chicken. I can just dump this right in. It's a nice deep dish, so I don't have to worry about it spilling out over. And we're gonna put the orange chicken sauce in. Ooh, look at that right. And you know the great thing is you don't even have to mix that up. Just put that down. When you put the lid down and lock it into place, it allows you 
there you go, to stir in all that sauce without yep. having to use a, a wok or yep. flipping things over or pre-soaking it. Stuff. Isn't that great? And then of course you can just keep flipping yours back and forth so it doesn't yep. burn on one side. Flip it, give it a little shimmy. Beautiful. And we're just gonna do a grilled cheese. It's so simple, it's cheese and bread that's melted in a pan. That's so good. Right, but if you get it wrong, you'll burn the bread and the cheese won't get melted. So I'm gonna start it off and just throw this butter in there. Okay, now you can of course butter the bread if you like. I always like to butter the pan because I'm gonna just not let all that melt. We're gonna flip it and it's gonna butter the other side. So let me do four pieces of bread in here. Okay, there's one, two, three, and four pieces of bread like so. Let's soak up that butter. And then I'm just gonna do some cheese here. Here's two pieces, I like it nice and cheesy. Good and cheesy Very in cheesy. here, why not? Here. And the quickie makes being cheesy easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So here's, okay, I'm gonna do two pieces on this side. Now I'm gonna do one of these, just a cheese. I'm gonna do two of these with a little prosciutto ham in there. Oh, that's gonna be so good. So I'll do this side here, this side here like this, and then I'm gonna put cheese right on top of this and then put this on top. And you know, I may as well just go ahead and add another couple of pieces of cheese in here. Why not? Because why not? We'll do a four cheese um, grilled cheese. Okay. This is starting to get there. Now I can see it's already bubbling on the bottom, so I want to get this flipped over as soon as possible. So let me just put this on here. I'm going to finish this with a piece of bread on this side, on this side, here and here. And now that butter that's melted there, when I flip it over, is what I'm going to do. Just flip that there, give a little slide around like so. Yeah, and, and the butter is going to ooze down. That's going to butter that side right there. Okay, I'm going to turn my heat down. Let's see what you've got. Okay, so what we've got is some delicious Chinese orange chicken. Wow, a variety. look at that. Crispy, mm. hot, and steaming. Delicious. All so right. I think we're ready to serve this. Yeah, let's plate that up. Get that going. That is going to be so good. This is definitely a nice, unexpected treat for people when they're camping. Your guests are not going to believe that you've got orange chicken on your campground. Oh my gosh, that is just going to be, what a wonderful treat that is. Mmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> orange chicken done in a quickie pan and it's all non-stick and you know what i really liked about this is when you add the sauce when the pan's closed you can just stir it around and sauce all those pieces of chicken yeah and so it's evenly cooked and it's evenly sauced right and nothing fell out it all stays inside the pan and it cooks it nice and even yep no mess no worries oh my gosh that is looking so good would you like to try one sure here, let me get We're this. camping. You can go for it. So just go with a piece. Oh, yep. just get this. Oh, it's kind of hot. <laughs> That's on. a good thing. Kind of hot. Let me get a fork here. Okay. Uh, mm. Good. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Fresh, crispy, delicious. Amazing. You're such a good cook. I am. That was really I'm wonderful. Good. I'm, I'm really. So, I'm so selfless. I made this all for you. Oh my God! Thank you very much. Here, not too many. I've got one for you in here. Okay. And take a look. I flipped it over. Okay, let that cook. I mean, literally a minute, a minute and a half on this side. Again, that encapsulated Stop heat's it. gonna melt that cheese, it's gonna crisp up that bread. And take a look Yum. at that. <laughs> wow. Just I'm just gonna take this guy off of here. This is one that has the prosciutto on it, so that's for me. Let me just close this here. Okay, keep those nice and fresh. And then let me just cut this here in half. And I'll tell you, oh my gosh, that is so gooey and wonderful with cheese. Oh, let me yeah. just take a bite of that. Oh, I could hear that crunch, mm. that satisfying crunch. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Mm. And the kids are gonna go nuts for it. It's so simple, but so good. Mm. And so easy to make out here. Mm -hmm. That is so good. And remember, whether you're doing something as easy as a grilled cheese sandwich or something like a Chinese orange chicken, you are going to love the Quickie Pan. It is the right pan, indoors or outdoors. Have a Quickie anywhere. Mmm. See you dinner. <laughs> we are so sure you'll be happy with your purchase that we offer a 60-day money-back guarantee to ensure your satisfaction. If for any reason you wish to return your Quickie Copper Pan, we will promptly issue you a refund. So click the Shop Now button and get your very own complete Quickie Copper Pan indoor and outdoor kitchen. Now we have another American classic. Jeremy, what do you have here? I'm gonna make some sliders. 
and you could do hamburgers in here, uh, you could do chicken breasts and all these things, but I'm actually gonna use this mold right here that'll do seven sliders. And the reason, I'm just gonna go out, don't worry, my hands are clean, I washed them. Uh, <laughs> the reason I like to use this <laughs> mold here is if you fill these up, this will give you perfectly shaped sliders. So instead of like, if you wanna do hamburger patties, just make them with your hand, do a hamburger patty. But for sliders, you don't want these to get too big. So I'm just gonna fill these guys up here. And we're also glamping, so we want even our sliders to look phenomenal. Hey, that's right. Do you have a friend, a real particular friend, maybe from the city that's kind of hard to impress? You wanna do some awesome sliders? You wanna do lamb sliders? Or uh, venison sliders, those or are always really fun. veggie sliders. Or veggie sliders <laughs> if you want, yeah, that's fine. And you can already hear that cooking. I'm just gonna fill all these guys up. And what's gonna happen, especially if you're using size of bread like this, you don't want a big patty. No, you, you don't need want something that's gonna, This is gonna keep everything nice and tight together, okay? Nice and, and then, nice and tight. yep, that's right. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna fill these guys up, okay? Let me just fill this one up here, okay? And if they got a little bit too much, I'm gonna take from this guy and put over here, okay? And Make sure that these are all kind of nice and full. If you see any spaces, just toss those in. And I mean, by the time I finish this, it'll be just about ready to flip here. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Any extra bits, I'm just gonna pull that off. Let me just fill in a little bit there. Okay, we are in the outdoors, so never mind the flies. We are actually outside cooking here. We are, in the the real, we are in the great the outdoors. Campsite. I'm gonna close that right there. Let that cook for a couple minutes. Great, so while you've got that cooking, we demoed before fresh hash browns. We're also gonna try some frozen hash browns. So we have to try the frozen versions of mm -hmm. everything. So let's put them right in. My cookie's already nice and hot. You can hear them sizzling. This is only gonna take a couple minutes. Right, and I noticed you didn't add any butter or oil in that one. No, this is the diet version. All right, and you can. If you want flavor, uh, you know, some people like that nice sort of veggie oil crispy flavor yep. on there. Salt and pepper, and that's all the real flavor you need. No, I mean, no judgments here, what you want to add to your quickie. Your quickie <laughs> is your quickie. You can do a quickie however you want to do your quickie. That's right. Now here, I can tell that this is really done. I mean, it really, really works quick here in a pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip this guy over here. I'm going to give it a couple of more minutes on this side. These are small little uh, slider size patties. So they don't take very long to cook. Do you want to flip yours? Or? Yep. Let's flip mine over. Let's flip yours over. So much easier. I mean, and it's so going to cook easier. faster. It's encapsulating all that heat in there. Yeah. So not only is it defrosting it, it's crisping it at the same time. So it's going to yeah. be nice and crunchy on the outside and cooked in the middle, not cold. And if you've got anybody that's hangry like me and you want to feed them within a couple of minutes, this is perfect. Right. Now here, I think my sliders are about done. I'm going to turn it off. Don't forget to turn that gas off. That's always an important thing. Yeah, we just, don't want any gas explosion. Just for safety's sake, right. You could, I don't know how yours are, but let me just open this guy up and reveal it. Awesome, now check Those this out. Done. Now watch, when I do this, these should, because it's silicone nonstick, it should just come right off. How wow. cool is that? Right, and then easy. all I'm gonna do here is I like some onions. So I'm just going to put some onions on here. I'm gonna take one of these little guys here and just put it on there like that. And of course you could add your own mayonnaise, mustard, barbecue sauce, whatever cool you like. You'd like. And look at that. And that's why it's so cool. You see the size of that? It is the perfect size slider. See, that's not too big. It doesn't stick over. Buttons. It is absolutely perfect there. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna flip mine over. Let's check out how these hash browns are doing. <gasps> Beautiful, perfectly cooked, golden little hash browns. Awesome. Look at that, perfect. And I'm just making these up over here as you do that. And I'll tell you what, just the possibilities are endless. When you're cooking with your quickie pan outdoor kitchen system, it is just gonna be perfect for whether you're doing breakfast. If you have a, maybe you're doing like a real nicey fancy, hey, maybe a wedding party or things like that. You have friends, you wanna make perfect sliders? Take a look at that. That is the perfect slider. That is a pretty perfect slider. Isn't that great? <laughs> or from frozen to fabulous. In less than four minutes. And for that one happened so fast, right? It's awesome. That was a very quick quickie. Right, and I'll tell you what, we've done breakfast, we've done pancakes, we've done pizzas. Waffles. 
waffles. We've done giant cookies, <laughs> right? Pazookies. Paz Pazookies. We've done a massive hamburger, and we did small individual sliders. You can pretty much do anything in your quickie. Indoors, outdoors, we've shown you you can do breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, anywhere. Camping, in the kitchen, at the park, at the beach. Whether it's indoors, outdoors, whether it's in the morning, late at night, or for just a quick snack, you are gonna love your quickie pan and outdoor cooking system. So remember, everyone loves a quickie. Yes, they are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys Thank later. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Don't miss this chance to get the quickie copper pan at a very special introductory price. Get the complete quickie copper pan indoor and outdoor kitchen now. Thank you.